Hi guys, this is Alboska, and welcome back to another video. In the last video, we ranked uh, all nine of Led Zeppelin's albums. Now we're going to be ranking Led Zeppelin's album covers. And uh, this is going to be the last Led Zeppelin video. For a while, maybe I'll do more Led Zeppelin videos in the future. But uh, we're going to be ranking the album covers. And um, uh, I kind of like... Uh, well, the top half of uh, Led Zeppelin's album covers I like a lot. And the bottom half, they're okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, just, and I'm also going to be including Coda on here, uh, and I'll show you what the album cover looks like, uh, because I have it on my phone. So, uh, this was, uh, honestly not that really hard to do. Uh, I like a good majority of Led Zeppelin's, uh, album covers, and, uh, you know, it's, some are good and some are okay. I don't really think there's a bad one, but, uh, that's just my opinion. So let's get into this. So, um, coming in at number nine, real, this was really easy for me, uh, for my least favorite album cover by Led Zeppelin, Coda. Uh, not bad, but, uh, hold on, I hope you guys can see that. Not bad, but, you know, it's just the font of, uh, you know, it just says Coda and Led Zeppelin on the, on the album cover. Not bad, but just, you know, it's kind of kind of a boring album cover, honestly, um, it's never really one of my favorites, and, um, yeah, I don't know, it's just kind of boring, but some of the stuff on there is really good, in my opinion, so Coda is gonna come in at number nine, coming in at number eight, we're on, right, we're on number eight, um, hold on, my document just went away, yeah, it always does this to me, I hate it when that happens, anyway, uh, coming in at number eight, yeah, I had the right album, Coming in at number 8 is going to be Into the Outdoor. And now, when I first saw this album cover, I was honest, I honestly just found it boring. Um, again, not bad. You know, there's there's that swish on there. And I believe they um, had, like, four... Um, like, four shoots of the album cover. Um, and, you know, the dude with the white... The white... Uh, pullover and the white pants and, you know, the dapper hat uh, was on a different angle and the bartender, you could actually see him. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of found it a little boring. Um, but uh, not awful. It's just there, in my opinion. So, uh, uh, Into the Outdoors coming in at number eight. Coming in at number seven. Now, I know a lot of people would probably have this uh, at the bottom. This one's actually, honestly not that bad. I always found it interesting. Uh, presence is coming in at number seven. I hope you guys can see that. Yeah, it's just a family just sitting down. It looks like a 1950s era picture. You know, there's boats behind them. I never knew what the thing in the middle is. I don't know what the hell that is, but I don't know. And there are um, also some people who don't like this album cover a lot. And, you know, um, again, a lot of the stuff on the album is really good in my opinion, so, uh, Presence is gonna be at number 7 for me, and, um, of course, yeah, my document keeps, uh, whenever I go on to it, it just, yeah, that's, that's a problem I cannot handle, unfortunately, but, uh, yeah, Presence coming in at number 6, or 7, coming in at number 6, um, uh, now we're, now these are the first six Zeppelin albums, uh, which I prefer, uh, more than the last three. I don't have anything against the last three, I really enjoy them, but we're talking about the album covers. Coming in number six, and this is a really cool album cover, Physical Graffiti. This is a really cool, um, picture of an apartment in New York, I believe. And I never knew until the other day, there was a person sitting down on the stairs, Right there. Hope you guys can see that. I mean, you probably have if you're a Led Zeppelin fan. I like the le the letters on the windows, you know, physical graffiti, how it spells out, you know, the double doors. Um, it kind of looks like um, that one building from uh, oh, which Harry Potter movie was that from? I think it was from Order of the Phoenix. I think it was that where the building just shifted. It was pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, I always liked the album cover to Physical Graffiti. It was always cool, uh, for me. And, uh, yeah, it worked for me. So, coming in at number six is Physical Graffiti. Coming in at number five, let's go back to, um, 1969. Hold on, I gotta pull it up. Um, 
Let's go to Led Zeppelin 2. I always love this album cover. I like the people standing there. It kind of looks like um, part of Led Zeppelin 1 with, you know, the Hindenburg uh, blimp that was there. It kind of looks like a white shadow or maybe a cast of light. I love the font of Led Zeppelin 2. The people uh, that are standing there, um, I always thought it was cool. You know, you had the band um, that were uh, in that shot, and you know, you had, uh, they were photoshopped in there, and you know, they're a bunch of what looks like police officers just standing um, down, and there's, looks like there's a woman in there, because, you know, there's blonde hair. I always thought it was Robert Plant, because, you know, he had blonde hair, but Robert Plant is, uh, sitting down right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is bright. But yeah, I always thought it was a cool album cover. Uh, one of my favorite album covers. Pretty underrated. Um, but Led Zeppelin 2 is coming in at number uh, 5. Coming in at number 5. Alright, coming in at number 4. Now this... Um, you're never going to get away with an album cover like this ever. Especially not today. Uh, and um, I was hesitant to put this high. Um, but, uh, you know, I love this album. This is my favorite Zeppelin album as I talked about before, and, uh, that, of course, the album I'm talking about is Houses of the Holy. Now, here's, he, now, before you, um, now, before I, before I say anything else, just hear me out. No, it's not a good idea to throw naked children on rocks and boom, there's your album cover. No, that is not a good idea. What I like about the album cover is hypnosis. The fact that there's naked children on rocks, that was the part that, that was, I was thinking maybe that should go near the bottom. But, you know, I always kind of like the hypnosis. I like the, how the sky looks orange. That's probably my favorite part of the album cover. You know, the rocks are cool. I, I, they shot that somewhere in, I, I don't remember, I think it was Scotland or something like that. But, you know, it was different for its time. And again, it's not a good idea to throw naked children on your rocks. If you're gonna if you're gonna make an album, don't throw naked children on rocks or on any objects, because you will be in a lot of trouble and yeah, they'll you're gonna have a bad time. So Houses of the Holy coming at number four. I had I was hesitant to put it up there. Um, but I love the hypnosis of the album really. Uh so Houses of the Holy is coming in at number four. The top three. So, so coming in at number three. Let's go to the debut album from 1969. I always love this album cover. It just looks great. Well, obviously, in real life, it's awful what happened, you know, with the Hindenburg bombing, you know, it just was destroyed. Um, but for its time, it looks really cool. I, like, I love the black and white. I love the font for uh, Led Zeppelin. And, you know, I always thought it was uh, interesting. You know, I didn't know about the Hindenburg when I first saw this album cover. So I was, like, wondering, did that really happen? Did they really, did they crash a blimp for the album cover to happen? No, it was actually um, the Hindenburg, uh, which is awful, unfortunately, when that happened. But, yeah, pretty cool for its time. Uh, one of the best debut albums you'll ever hear. One of the best albums you need to hear before you die, really. Uh, it's, it's that good. Um, uh, but yeah, I always thought the album cover was, was cool. So, uh, yeah, that's the debut coming in at number three. All right, so my top two, I was switching these two a lot. Just because I love these two album covers so much. I love both of them. And, uh, I decided that, um, my, and this was my number two used to be my number one, but I decided to change it. We're going to go with, for number two, uh, we're going to go with Led, Zepp Led Zeppelin 3. I always thought this was a cool album cover. You know, you got the font of Led Zeppelin 3, and then you have these random objects. Kind of reminds me of Dare to be Stupid by Weird Al, and you know, you have the band, whoops, uh, you have the band um, in there, you know, you have Bonzo up there, you have uh, uh, Jimmy Page over there, and... Uh, I guess that's Robert Plant and then John Paul Jones at the bottom. I know it spawns up there because, you know, he had the mustache. Um, but, yeah, I always thought it was cool. You know, you had the random objects everywhere. It kind of reminds me of uh, the, I Spy, the I Spy books that I used to read back in the day. But, yeah, it was really cool. I just noticed there was a mouth on the album cover. There are teeth right there. I just noticed that now. That's kind of crazy. Uh, but, yeah. 
really cool. Um, I always loved it, and it comes in at number three, or number two. Number Led Zeppelin three comes in at number two, and coming in at number one, you know what's left. Um, this was always a cool album cover. Um, you know, it's one of the most iconic album covers of all time, and their most famous album. Uh, so my number one is um the untitled album or Led Zeppelin four. That's what's most commonly known as. I always love this album cover. You know, you had the the torn down wall, the picture of the man with a cane carrying a bunch of sticks. I always thought it was really cool. Um, and uh, I guess that was a I guess that was a painting somewhere that they saw, and I guess they decided to get it and put it on the wall. And of course, if you have the album on vinyl, you look at the back, and then it's um it's it just looks like the house was torn down, and you know a part of the wall was that was sticking out. And then you'd see a city back there. It was cool. Cool for its time, and it's cool today. So, uh, Led Zeppelin 4, or the Untitled Album, whatever you want to call it, comes in at number uh, 1. And, of course, whenever I just... And the document, I could see uh, what was up. So, uh, and uh, when I was about to go back, it disappeared last minute. But here is my list. I hope you guys can see that. So that is uh, Led Zeppelin album covers ranked. I hope you enjoy this. This is going to be the last Led Zeppelin uh, video for the series. Um, I'm honestly really sad because I really enjoyed reviewing uh, Led Zeppelin because they're one of my favorite bands of all time. And uh, the next discography we're going to be doing is Van Halen in honor of the late great Eddie Van Halen who passed away a month ago. Um, so I was planning to start the Van Halen series today. I was planning, but, you know, I was busy. I was busier than I thought. I thought I would make videos every day for you guys, but, uh, unfortunately, that was not the case. So, uh, I will be, uh, reviewing, uh, Van Halen. Hopefully, that'll come out tomorrow. Uh, I'm probably gonna be busy either way, but, uh, who knows? Who knows? Uh, so, I'm gonna be doing that, and I think, I think I'm, uh, I'm planning to do after, you know, after uh, I'm done reviewing Van Halen, you know, ranking the songs off their albums and, you know, um, you know, uh, after that and ranking the albums and then the album covers, I was thinking to do of doing my top 10 favorite Van Halen, fa favorite Eddie Van Halen guitar solos because, you know, he had a lot of guitar solos and songs and I felt like talking about that, uh, you know, I was plotting that. Uh, I don't know if that'll happen. Maybe it will. But uh, yeah. So I just so that was uh, today's video ranking Led Zeppelin's albums. Hopefully, uh, Van Halen one will come out tomorrow. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it depends. Uh, maybe I'll t maybe I'll take a break. I don't know. Uh, but just know that hopefully the Van Halen series will be this month and hopefully this month only. Uh, but anyway, please leave a like, comment if you want, view my videos, and of course subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Halbuska. Signing off. Stay safe. Take care.